You can join me in either a kneeling position like I'm in here. You could do this up in tall kneeling if you prefer. You could do this standing, sitting, whatever you want. I don't care. You're going to take your hands. You're going to internally rotate almost like you're doing a swimmer. Hinge at your elbows. Place your hands on your back. Now, the lower that your hands are, the easier that this is. The higher that your hands are, the more challenging that this is. So find an area that's challenging but relatively comfortable and definitely not painful for you. And then what I'm going to have you do is very gently apply a little bit of pressure through the back of your palms or the back of your hands into your spine and then maintain that little bit of pressure and then we're going to go through some scapula cars here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring my shoulder blades up towards my ears, then I'm going to glide them forward or away from each other as far as I can. Then I'm going to glide them down along my spine and then I'm going to squeeze them back. So shoulder blades go back, they stay back, they come up, they stay up, they go forward, they stay forward, and they go down. Then they come back again, glide them up, separate them as you reach them forward, slide them down, and then bring them back to meet in the back. One more time, coming up, forward, down, and then back. Now we're gonna throw it in reverse. We're gonna stay low, but we're gonna go forward. Then we're gonna glide up. Then we're gonna bring it back and then down. And the whole time I'm trying not to move my neck as I go through this. So shoulder blades forward, coming up, coming back, gliding down, maintaining that little bit of pressure into my spine as I come forward, up, back, and down. Let's do one more for good measure here. Coming all the way forward, all the way up, all the way back, and then glide them all the way down.